Sophia. I hope you're all doing well. So today I thought we'd do a full body Pilates workout. We're going to tone, stretch, strengthen the entire body, and we're going to incorporate weights. But if you don't have weights, you're more than welcome to join me. So grab your weights, grab some water, and we'll get started. So let's start with a warm up first. We're going to stretch those legs long. We're going to sit up nice and tall, draw the navel in. We're going to pull forward, use our abs, and stretch back. Pulling forward and stretching back. If you have any discomfort in the lower back, you can do this with the legs bent. Okay, we'll go one more from here. And we'll go the other way. Let's go forward, roll ourselves up one vertebra at a time, and a beautiful stretch. Good. Two more. Last one, let's stretch and hold for four, three, two, one. We're gonna come right up and release down. Good, now from here, let's roll ourselves down. If you like using your hand to guide yourself down, we're gonna pause for a full body stretch and relax the arms down. Okay, so now here, I'm gonna put a, a block underneath my head. I just find it more comfortable, but if you want, you can have a towel, place a towel there, a pillow, or you can just leave your head right down. All right, so from here, let's go to our weights. So again, if you don't have weights, no problem. Still join us, and we're gonna go into the hundreds, but scissors way. So we're gonna start with our right leg up, left leg parallel to the mat, and we're gonna get those arms out. If the weights get too heavy here, you can always just have the arms uh, without the weights. Okay, here we go. Inhale, two, three, Four, five, and we exhale, we'll switch. Exhale, so just a small little pump with the arms. Two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, fifty. Inhale, two, three, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, five, inhale, two, three, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, five, inhale, two, three, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, five, inhale, two, three, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, ninety, inhale, two, three, four, Five, exhale, two, three, four, a hundred. Good work. Pull the knees in. All right, so let's go into our core training now. So we're gonna do our six basics, starting with our single leg stretch. So tummies in tight, grabbing our weights. We're gonna straighten the right leg with the right arm, and then we're gonna switch. Take the time to fully extend that arm and leg. And we wanna make sure we don't overarch the lower back. Let's go for six more. And other leg. Five. Four. Breathing it through. Three. Two. Last one. Stretch, hold, and breathe. For four. Three. Two. One. Good. And switch for four. Three. Two. One. Good job. All right. So now from here, let's go into a double leg stretch. So we're gonna stretch the legs out at about a 65 degree angle, arms go by the ears, pull the knees in. So watch when the knees come in, it's not a rest break. You wanna keep those abs squeezing, keep the thighs strong, six more. So we're lengthening the muscles and pulling right in. Five, and right in. Four, you got it, three, two, one more time, let's pause for that stretch. Four, four, three, two, one, good work. All right, wide scissors, both legs come up, tailbone anchor down, we're gonna open those legs, the arms, and then we're gonna squeeze. We're gonna open and squeeze, getting our chest in there as well, six more. Five more, good, four, three, Two, last one, let's flex the feet. We're gonna add a little pulse here. If you like also pulsing those arms. For four, three more, two more. One and hold for four, 
three, two, one. Good work. And knees coming. All right, let's go into scissors. So what we did for our hundreds, but we're going to let it flow. And here the arm fo follows the leg. Let's make sure the leg goes straight up and straight down to the hip. Okay, no wiggling in the hip. Six more. If you have any discomfort in the lower back though, five, just take the leg halfway down. Four more. Three more. Two, stretch. Every time that leg comes up, feel the stretch. Last time, we're gonna flex the feet, stretch and hold, really lengthen those legs for four. Three, two, one, you got it. Let's switch for four. Three, two, one, and knees coming. All right, double leg lifts. Let's take the legs up. We have to be really mindful of the lower back here. Watch that lower back doesn't overarch. And you wanna feel it in your abs and your thighs, and you, not your lower back. So if you do feel it in the lower back, don't take the legs down as low. We're gonna flex the feet down for six. Draw that navel in, slowly float up. You got it, five more. And arms reach by the ears, working our triceps when the arms come up. Four more. Good. Three, inhaling one movement, exhaling the other. Two more. Last time, let's go down, let's hold, let's keep breathing for four, flexing those feet. Three, two, one, up we go. Knees come in, let's finish it off with some twisting. So squeezing the weights together, firing up the chest, let's glue those hips down, opposite elbow to the knee, twist from the waist up. And it's that twisting motion that helps to trim through the belly. We'll do six more, five, trimming those love handles, Four, working thighs and glutes. Three, stretching that leg long. Two, last time, twist, hold, and breathe for four. Three, two, one, let's switch for four. Three, two, one, and knees coming. Good work. Let's have some fun now. We're gonna put it all together in a flow, starting with our single leg stretch. Here we go. And four, reach the leg long, extend. Three, good, two, and one, time for our double leg stretch, and four, arms reach by the ears, let's pull the elbows and knees in, three, if you feel the lower back, two, take those legs up higher, and one, time for some wide scissors, we've got four, and squeeze, three, two, and one, regular scissors for four, good, three, and stretch, two, and one, so double leg lifts, down we go, four more, and up we go, three, only taking the legs down to what feels right for you, two more, and we slowly come up. And one, and let's twist. Squeezing those weights, here we go, for four, and stretch long, three, two, and one, and let's pull those knees in, good. Let's pause for a stretch. So we'll drop the weights, let's take one leg over the other, relax the arms out, we're gonna drop the knees to one side and look the other way. This gives us a nice stretch to the back, releasing through the hips. Gentle stretch to the shoulders and chest. We're gonna take the knees center, keep them crossed the same way, and down to the other side. Good. And switch. Let's take the other leg on top, drop the knees to one side, knee center, and we go to the other side. Good, knee center, and up crossing the legs. All right, so back to working our core. We're gonna go into the bicycle series. So we're gonna stretch that right leg up. Make sure your hips and tailbone stay down. So you don't wanna be lifting up like that. Keep them anchored down, natural curve through your lower back, and keeping your upper and mid back muscles pressing down on the mat. Now we'll go to the waist. We're just gonna keep the arms still. Okay, shoulders anchored down, and imagine you're riding a bike on your back, pedaling with one leg. Okay, so we're gonna stretch that leg right up. You're going up a really steep hill. Six more, so you gotta put a lot of power into it. 
five, and knee comes in, stretch up, four, Hey, make sure you feel that stretch each time, three, with the tailbone anchored down, foot reaching up, two, you got it, and one, all right, so now let's go in the other direction, so same leg, we bend, we extend, leg at a 45 degree angle of parallel to the mat, stretch right up, and bend, so crazy glue that tailbone and buttocks right down to the mat, Watch you're not lifting it up when the leg comes up. Six more. Five, see if you can squeeze the abs a little more. Four, draw that navel right in. Three, that's it, stretch and bend. Two, all right, so last one, we're gonna come up, we're gonna flex that foot, feel a nice stretch, use those abs, let's come right up. And a gentle pulse up for 10, 9, 8, keep breathing, 7, 6, 5 more, 4 more, 3, 2, 1, hold, opposite leg extends for 4, 3, 2, 1, and knees come in, let's do our left leg, left leg extends, tailbone anchor down, pin the shoulders down, we're starting with a nice stretch, and now we go down, Knee comes in and stretch right up. Good work, the thigh, the buttocks. We're going for six more. Five. Good, stretch and down. Four. Three. Two. Right up, and one, you got it. Let's go the other way. So start with that nice stretch down the leg. We're gonna bend, extend, slowly up. Feel your stretch and then bend. So you don't wanna bend the leg in motion. Pause and then bend. Six more. Good. Five, stretch and bend. Four more. If the arms are getting tired, three, you can always take them down to your side. Two. And one, let's come up for that stretch. Let's flex that foot. And we're coming up to that mid back, let's pulse. For 10, nine, keep the neck long, eight, pulsing up, seven, six more, five, good, four, three, two, one opposite leg extends. Let's hold for four, three, two, one, and knees coming. Whoa! Let's go into some double leg bicycles now. So both legs up, tailbone anchored down. We're going to add some movement to the arms. When the legs go down, the arms go by the ears, but then we're going to pull the elbows and knees in and then stretch right up. So let's go down. Only go down to what feels right for you. So this actually starts like our double leg lift, six that we did earlier on, but then we pull the knees in rather than taking the legs up. Five more. Good. Hang in there. Four. And stretch. Three. Two. And one. All right, so now legs up, flexing the feet. Let's, oh, let's pause for some pulsing and then we'll go the other way. Here we go, for 10, nine, eight, seven, squeeze the thigh, six, five, four, three, two, one, and hold for four, three, two, one. So here we are gonna go other way now. So let's bend the legs, bend the arms, Extend and coming right up. Good. And right up. Watch that lower back. Let's go for six more. Squeeze those thighs. Five and stretch up. Four. Three. Two. Last one, all right, one more round of pulsing here. Flex the feet, we got this. Hang in there for 10. Keep those legs straight, nine, eight, seven more, six, 
five, four, three, two, one, and hold for four, three, two, one, good, and knees come in, all right. So now, let's go on, we're gonna get inner outer thighs, chest, and we're actually gonna go back to wide scissors, but we're gonna add some crossovers with it. So, let's stretch those legs up, let's get those arms up. We're gonna cross our right leg over our left and our right arm over our left, and then we switch left leg and left arm over the right, and then we flex the feet and we go to wide scissors for that nice stretch, inner thighs, hips, so we're gonna cross, cross, and stretch. Let's look at our legs. Make sure those legs will do six more, as straight as they can be. Five, always challenging ourselves for getting the legs straighter, squeezing those abs even more. Three, and strong arms. Nice toning for those arms. Two more. Good, okay, last one. Flex, let's go into small crossovers. Four, six, point the feet, five, got it, stretch those legs, four, three, two, and one. Now, opening the legs, arms through the legs, and let's pulse here. Getting a little more mid abs for 10, nine, eight, you're almost there, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, holding four, three, two, one, and knees come in. Good work. Okay, on to get some lower abs. So for lower abs, you want the legs at about a 65 degree angle. If they're right up, you're getting more mid abs. So we wanna go lower, 65 degree angle. If you like, you can even go lower, 45 degree angle, but just make sure you're not feeling it in the lower back and make sure you're not overarching the lower back. So whatever's comfortable for you. From here, we're gonna take that right uh, foot and just touch it on the you know inside of the thigh like around the knee area if you're a little tighter you'd probably only be able to get it to the calf and that's fine as well so what we're going to do is we're just going to stretch out but that left leg does not move and then we pull right in and then we're going to stretch right out so we're getting some inner outer thighs here as well the hips six more five good four lower abs are working hard and then three to keep that left leg stable. Two and one. Let's pull in. Okay, so that knee's out to the side. If you do yoga, it's kind of like a lying down tree pose. And now elbows in. Let's go a little more arms and chest. Hang in there for six. Keep that lower back down. Five, four, three, two, one. Squeeze the weight. Only if you're able to, let's go down a little lower for four. Three, two, one, good, knees come in. All right, let's go to our left leg. We're gonna extend, okay? So that right leg doesn't move, lower back is in place, left foot to the knee, or wherever on that leg that feels right for you. And then we're gonna stretch out without letting the hips tilt, okay? Abs are working hard as well to stabilize those hips. Six more, you got it. Five, four, great sculpting for the thigh. Three, stretching for those hips. Two, and one, got a nice stretch there. All right, so now from here, let's pull the foot in, knee out to the side, keep the hips open. Down we go. Keep breathing, squeeze those weights. Six more, five, four, three, two, and one, squeeze. If you're comfortable, it likes down a little lower. Four, four, three, two, one. Good, knees come in. One more time, we're gonna try both legs. So we're gonna have our feet together, knees apart. It's like frog, if you've done my uh, workouts before, this is common when we do, it's frog. But here, actually let's do it with our arms straight up for now. Here we're gonna stretch right up. And then we pull right in. And then we're gonna stretch right up. So it's a combination really of frog and spider. Six more, lots of animals today. Five, and stretch. Four, stretch to like 45 or 65 degree angle. Three, two, and one. And let's take the toes together and we'll press those heels in. And then from here, arms by the ears and up. 
by the ears. And up. Keep the stretch in the hips. We've got six, five, four, three. Hang in there, two. Last one, let's hold it. We're gonna stretch those legs long. Hold and breathe. Four, four, three, two, one. And knees come in. Good job. Rocking from side to side. Okay, so almost done, but not quite yet. We're gonna go now into um, a triangle double leg lifts. So we're gonna start with that left leg in front. So some more stretching for the hips. We're gonna take that right leg on top of the left leg. Now place it on the leg, just like what we did um, for, for the previous exercise, wherever it feels right for you. So if you're a little more flexible in the hips, you'll be able to have that leg a little, the foot a little lower. If you're a little tighter, no problem, you can have it on the shin. So you're kind of making that triangle shape. So let's go to our weights. So this is where the double leg lifts add in. We're gonna flex the foot down. So just like the double leg lifts we did earlier on, only the right leg is bent and then we're gonna come up, stretch up, but we're gonna add a lift. Head and shoulders come off the mat. So we're also getting some upper abs there as well. So let's flex the foot down only to what feels right for you and stretch right up. Six more going down, getting mid abs, lower abs, thighs and glutes coming up. Five, and with the lift, getting those upper abs. Four, arms are working right through and right up. Three, I know this looks easy, but it's challenging to just stay with me. If it gets a little too much, you could always leave the legs still and straight. You don't have to take that left leg up and down. And last time, let's come up, flex the foot. We're adding our pulse for 10, nine, eight, seven more, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's go down and we're gonna hold knee to the side for six, five, four, three, two, one. Good work. Pull those knees in. Let's do our other leg. So right leg up, we're gonna get that left leg on top, anywhere on the leg that feels comfortable for you. Knee to the side. We want that stretch through the hip, through the IT band area, and then we're gonna go down. That's a great thing with Pilates. We're not just working our core, and in this workout, also getting arms as well. We're also working on our flexibility. And stretch. Toning and stretching and strengthening and having so much fun. Six more, stay with me. Five, flex, and up we go. Four, good, using our breath for strength. Three, making sure to exhale and then inhales will happen naturally. Two more, almost there, and up we go. Last one, all right, so let's flex the foot. Let's make sure we're feeling a stretch behind the leg, through that left hip, up we go. For 10, nine, eight more, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and let's pause here. Hang in there. For six, uh, sorry, we're just gonna hold rather, we won't pause. Let's just hold. For six, five, knee to the side, four. If you like, you can pause three, a little more challenging, two, and one, all right, good, and pull the knees in. Corkscrew time, let's just take a second here, we'll rock from side to side, take a deep breath, we're gonna take the elbows down, let's stretch those legs right up. Imagine the legs are roped together, so stabilizing the shoulders, and in corkscrew, we move the hips, but with control. Start with small circles, if you're finding this a little easy, move into larger circles. I feel like a little more challenge. Arms reach up. Five more. Slow and steady. Four more. With control. Three. Two. And one. You got it. And other direction. Take your time. Almost there. All right. Five more. Four. Three, two, and one. Let's get those legs right up. 
and relax down. All right, twisting time. We're gonna target those obliques a little more. Let's go into single leg crisscross. We're gonna stretch the right leg long. We're gonna reach the arms by the ears, but now squeezing the weights together, left elbow to the right knee. Nice, deep squeeze, and then we stretch long. Hips are still very important. We keep the hips anchored down and stable. Six more. And extend. The more stable you can keep those hips, five, the better able you are to twist with that upper body, twist to the weight, twist to the waist. Four more. Three. Two. Last one. Let's add a little pulse though. Four, four. Three. Two. One. And now we'll just hold. We'll keep the foot pointed and get a full stretch. Four, four. Three. Two, one, good. Okay, let's do our left leg, stretch. Beautiful full body stretch. Glue those hips down and we twist. Good, and twist. Six more, this also gives the back a nice stretch, especially those mid back muscles that are hard to get to. Five, so remember, stabilize those hips. Four, you can give yourself a better squeeze through that belly, a better twist. Three more. And stretch long. Two. One more. Let's pulse for four. Three. Two. One. And stretch and hold for four. Three. Two. One. Good. Knees come in. We'll rock from side to side. All right. So now let's put it together. We're going to go into crisscross bicycle flow. So we're going to review some of the exercises we did throughout the class. We're going to put it all together into three rounds and we're going to finish it off with our crisscross bicycle. So just follow along with me and you know you always have the option of stopping and stretching if you need to. All right, so let's get started. Let's start by revisiting those double leg bicycles. Let's take those legs up, glue that tailbone down, and we're going to add those arms as well for four. And right up, three. Good. Two. And up we go. And one. Now, other direction. Deep bend. Arms out. Watch your tailbone come right up. Three more times. Two. And one. All right, so now from here, let's go feet together, knees apart. We're gonna add some arms here as well. We're gonna come up and then when the legs extend out, let's straighten those arms up for four. So what we did for our lower abs, but let's make sure that lower back stays down. Three, two, and one, good. Now we'll move into scissors. We'll start with regular scissors for four, three, Two, and one, let's add some double leg lifts. Four, up we go. Three, watching that lower back. Two, and one, crisscross bicycle. Four, four, and twist. Three, hips are still. Two, and one, so that was round one, round two. Double leg bicycles for four. And burning lots of calories as well. Three. Let's just make sure we stay in good alignment to good form. And one. And other direction. For four. Slowly up. Resist the urge to swing the legs up. Three. You want the core to do all the work. Two. You don't want help from momentum. Right up. And one. All right. Here we go. So we're going to start off in that frog position and four. And pull right in. You can have the weights together or elbows down, whatever you like. Three. Good. Two. And one. Legs up. Let's go into wide scissors this round for four. Three. Two. One. Double leg lifts, down to go for four, three, two, and one. Let's twist it out, and four. 
and twist. Three, good, two, and one last round. We are almost there. Stay with me. Double leg bicycle for four, three, two, and one in. We're going the other direction. Here we go for four. Watching that lower back. Three more. Two more. And one. All right. And let's go for four here. Good. Into frog and then extending. Three. Two. And one. All right. Legs up. You choose your scissors. Four, four. Whichever variation you like. Three wide scissors. You can even do those wide crossover scissors. Two. And one. Adding some double leg lifts here. Four, four. Hang in there. Three. Good. Two. You're probably hating me right about now. One. And we're going to finish off crisscross bicycle. Four, four. Don't worry. I don't take it personally. Three. Two. Just want you to work that core really hard. One. And release down. Good work, everyone. Okay, so let's pull the knees in. We're done with all the hard stuff. A gentle rock from side to side. And now we're going to stretch that right leg out. And we're going to add a twist. Deep breath. Let's get our heart rate down. Also moving a lot of stamina and endurance in that flow series. And we're going to take our other leg up and a gentle twist. Good. And the knee comes up. Relax the leg down. I'm just going to remove the block from my head. Let's move into shoulder bridge. So ankles underneath the knees. We're going to slowly take the tailbone up. Get a really good stretch right down the back, especially through the lower back. And down we go. Two more times. Let's come up. And then down. Last time. Let's come up. We're going to reach the arms by the ears. Let's hold for four, three, two, one. Down we go. Knees come in, give them a good squeeze, rocking from side to side. We'll come right up into a seated position. And we're going to cross those legs, sit up nice and tall. We'll take the palms together, breathing in and breathing out. Two more times. Last time and exhale. Thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you have a wonderful day and hopefully I'll see you again soon.